everyone, Stick here, and today I'm at Anderson's Music Store in Guildford checking out some bass guitars. This being one of them, the other three you can see behind me. Um, so first on the list is this Sterling Ray 34 Classic Active in mint green. Um, now there's plenty of other colours available if this isn't your bag, and if this is your bag then you'll uh, keep watching and you're in for a bit of a bargain at the end of the video because these are an end of line colour and they're being discounted quite substantially. So check out the Anderson's Music Store uh, website for that full pricing, but I'll go into that at the end anyway. So this is called the Classic Active, it's a nod to the old school, the original kind of Stingray. It has a slab body, an ash slab body, you can see, no body contours, hence why it's called a slab. So you've got no nice sort of easy feeling bit there, no belly cut around the back, it's just a slab of wood. I really like the vibe and feel of this, it's, it's great fun to play. Um, and it's not uncomfortable as you might sort of think straight away. Um, we've got a maple neck with a tinted uh, lacquer finish on the back. Rosewood board, 21 frets. The fret dressing and everything is excellent. We have the classic Music Man um, truss rod adjustment nut down in there, which saves you having to take the neck off should you wish to adjust anything, which is a really, really cool feature. We've got normal or typical um, Music Man open back tuning pegs. Uh, these are really good quality, actually. Very impressed with these. We've got a Sterling, Again, it's the Sterling take on the Music Man Bridge. To look at visually, they're very, very similar. There's not a lot of difference between the two, to be honest. Um, with all the adjustment and everything you need going on there, really good solid bridge, um, no rattles, no buzzes, all the adjustment you need, etc., etc. Great quality. Electronics wise, you've got a volume, a treble, and a bass. That's it, a two band active EQ. Uh, active, for you guys that don't know, means that you need a little battery to power the active circuit. Um, without that, you do not get any bass tones coming out of it, on any signal rather, coming out of the pickup. The pickup itself is the sterling equivalent of the Music Man humbucker. So we're not looking at a proper American humbucker in here. So this is, if, as you guys don't know, uh, the sterling range are made out in Indonesia. But what separates the, the top end of the sterling range is that these all actually ship back to America where they're QC'd and the final checks and the final bit of tweaking goes on and then they're shipped out from America. So you're getting a, an affordable Stingray bass. There's not really a lot else to say about it. I mean, obviously we'll go over some tones. I'll just demonstrate full volume, full treble, no treble, full bass, no bass. And there's a little bit of slapping and stuff going on in there as well to give you an idea tonally what's on offer. Uh, but if you're looking at this video, you kind of know what a Music Man um, Stingray bass would sound like. And this is pretty much an affordable take on that. So there you go. Check it out. Okay, so there you go, that was the Sterling Ray 34CA by Music Man. As I think you'll agree by the tones you hear, this is a stonking bass and an absolute bargain in this colour. So if you like this colour, grab them while they're there because there's not many available. If you're looking at sort of a normal um, stock colour that's still been in mass production, like your blacks, your reds, all that kind of stuff, you're looking at about £730 for one of these. Comes with a gig bag, or we'll do a sweep over all that stuff towards the end. However, as this is a discontinued colour, <clears throat> Andersons are able to offer you these at 499, which is a bargain. Uh, you're getting in so much bass for your money. Um, so much so, I think I'm actually gonna buy one because I like it so much. It's a wicked bass. 
The recording chain for all these videos is just the bass goes into a DI box and there the signal is split. Today I'm using an Ashdown rig for monitoring in the room, but the signal that you hear is just the raw bass DI signal, goes straight into Logic Pro, and from there it's just a limiter that brings it up to a level. There's no production, nothing else going on. So you're hearing the true tone of the instrument. Um, so there you go. Click on andertonsmusicstore.co.uk in the link below, or andertons.co.uk, and um, check out their website. And if this is something for you, grab one while they're there. It is a bargain. That's all for now. Stick out. Bye. <laughs>